For real! This time, we're gonna do the Japanese dog hump. We're actually gonna go score. And when I say score, ladies and gentlemen, I mean scoring. Basically, the major strategy for the Japanese team, which happened to be the global number one team, is they just get score shield, and they got characters who are highly mobile, who have a lot of HP, and have body barrier, and all they do is a force score. Like, they would just score in your face, take your top tier one tower, and then get a rotom, force your top tier two tower, and then just score in your base at the last two minutes. They will everybody get 50 points, they will unite on top of each other especially they have weekly tough and they get insane amount of shield and they just go into your base and score and for those who didn't know if you have shield no matter where you come from and you have an item called score shield if you go in and score enemy cannot stop you from scoring it's actually insane it's very absurd strategy and we're actually slowly developing some strategies similar so right now we're playing lucario the only person who's willing to play lucario on our team and i'm gonna go top lane free with dragon knight in the jungle and the bottom lane we have sam on greedent now if you think about this strategy Strategy, right? Greedon is very, very mobile. He can go to the enemy jungle and invade and take farm and steal enemy jungle's resources and then go score because this Unite move also gives him a huge shield. Similar to Dragonite. Dragonite's Unite move is actually more interesting because Dragonite doesn't use 100% of the Unite move when he unites. In fact, if you unite right on top of your feet, you only use, I think, 25% of your Unite and you can just easily get it back by killing like three to four camps or scoring. <laughs> Basically, if you score, you get like 10% back. So it's actually absurd, guys. And in this gameplay, you will see those action live. So before we get started, guys, make sure to drop the like, subscribe, and turn the bell on to all notification bells so you can join the coolest group of the baddest family in the world of Pokemon Unite. And remember to join us on our daily live streams for six days a week. So you can ask me any questions or interact with me. I'll be there to answer you with the link in the description, guys. Make sure to watch till the end of the video. It really helps me out. And most importantly, I will sprinkle all the tips and tricks and my thinking process, the decision making uh, throughout the gameplay so you know why I make certain decisions to truly help you understand the game so with that guys enjoy the gameplay and i'll see you guys in the comment section right off the bat you can see that i'm a little bit of rusty on lucario mechanic because it's not a pokemon i play a lot of times i understand how the mechanic works regarding each e-speed all the tech how the combo works i understand how bone rush in synergize with e-speed and all the other kind of good stuff but obviously it really requires player to play a few games to get used to it now in this case being the world-renowned gaming superstar we don't need to play a lot of games we just need to play like half a game to warm our up and that's exactly what you're gonna see my mechanics start getting better and better and obviously this is a two gameplay series where i show you all the best of the gameplays and you can see my mechanic improve with every single movement every time i dash in every time i pilot that e speed it just gets more and more enjoyable to watch so this is gonna be a show for you guys to show you the progression of a young lucario apprentice to become a lucario master in the top lane mastering the japanese scoring strategy it's actually a truly fun experience Easy one versus a two, bro. Easy one versus a two, bro. Wrecked. All right. Got it. Now you're fucked. You know what one versus two is? Easy. Oh, <laughs> I have a night. I have a night. Wait, what the hell? Why is this guy not moving? Let's go my point. <laughs> Light work, bro. I'm gonna go to the jungle. Uh, oh, snap. Oh, now. snap. I'm so slowed. Let's see this one versus the two. From Sam. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> Dude, they get cancelled immediately. So cringe. Oh my god. Tell me this is tell me this Pokemon is not broken, dude. So tell me it's not broken. It's not broken. <laughs> it's so broken, my gosh. <laughs> this is so bro. Like I just one shot a two shot of Decidra. I think one two E speed. He's dead. You're just making it look broken. There we go. It's too easy. It's, it's not even hard, because the same thing as my- first? Yeah, okay, go, go, go. Go, go, together. All right. <laughs> he just gave up. I just oh, surrendered, no, bro. That sucks. Oh. This game was so good for Yeah, it was surrendered? going so oh, well. Oh my god, we destroyed them so hard. We're gonna post it either way. We're gonna post it either way. Maybe we could post like this, and then add on a full game. <laughs> you gotta run it back. Well, go, we all got a lot of scores. I did 39% damage. <laughs> oh, shit. I did, <laughs> wait. 
How did I not do damage? I feel like I was killing Oh everybody. my god, free... Wait, you did damage. You did 18%. The second game is actually more interesting because we actually end up going against the Feynman action from what I heard. You can see enemy are doing 1-1-3 one, one, with Lucario top and have three people bottom and then one person in the center area. Meanwhile, I have a weekly tough for stealing all my farm. So I had a little bit of challenge getting into level 5 by the first bear so I can get my E-speed and you will see in this game, but it doesn't matter with which strategy and determination we are able to get our power spike and continue continue our dog scoring strategy and get those sweet sweet level sevens and start scoring to infinity until an enemy cry even if they cry we don't give a crap we'll just keep on scoring keep on winning a quick tip when you're playing lucario with e-speed make sure that your e-speed touch as many targets as possible this way you can overlay your damage and really do the maximum amount of output uh there there guys are level four though we can die yeah oh, can we kill nice this guy movie. Of score shield. Alright, score, score. Bot, bot is doomed. I let's go invade, either. let's go invade, let's go invade. Okay, you guys invade, I'm gonna go yeah, back. He's low. And, and this is the challenge with Lucario invading without eject button and pre level 5. I don't really have extreme speed or double dash or whatnot, so I don't have a lot of damage or mobility to actually facilitate the invade, especially against the Greninja who has inherent slow on top of the red buff. It is even more slow, so it just turned out to be a disaster idea. And all thanks to the fact that I was 2 1 2 in top, getting my experience shared and all the camps taken away by Wigglytuff. So it's something I can pay attention to pre level 5 to try to get as many camps as possible safely. And now after you get level 5, you can play more aggressive as Lucario. But always remember the main job, which is get points, as many points as possible, and try to score those points in, so you can play the Japanese dog shred, which is just annoy the heck out of the enemy team. What the hell? I think Gengi bottom does any. I'm coming top, day. We can dive him. Yep. It's all yours. <laughs> I'm gonna heal off first. Oh my god, he ran. They both ran into the beam. Look at that. <laughs> they actually... yeah, oh, I have 30 points. Yeah, score 13. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go score the next tier. <laughs> Why the hell did Yo, it take so long? How do you not score? I don't know. It took so long. <laughs> I got the score down too. Alright, we're gonna roll them. Yeah, Squidin actually has one of the slowest scoring animation in the game. So next time we try to facilitate more overcap on the enemy goal, try to let Greedin score in first, and then you're gonna smash the scoring button. Lucaro's score is almost instantaneous. He just dunked the score like a badass. But remember guys, right after a small victory, your number one goal is to go get those big objectives like Rotom, so you can facilitate into the enemy tower, the second tier defense zone. This way you can score in more points, because if you can break the top tier one tier, Tier 2 or the bottom tier 1 tier 2 before the Articuno spawn, you can just go into the enemy base and scoring 500 points, stack the body barriers no matter you have Articuno or not. You're playing against a 2000 ELO player? Please win so I can make fun of him. <laughs> Alright, we're, we're doing our best. Yeah, three bottom. Top. Three top. I'm just going bottom, dive bottom. Go. Easy kills. You lived and you killed him. Yep, light work. <laughs> I have Unite. Ooh, that's a fast Light stack. work, bro. I'm gonna go score some points. I'm gonna go score me some points. Yeah. I have Unite, Dave. I'm coming top. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm gonna score more points. They can't They're stop rotating us. top right now. Yeah, yeah. I have 10,000 people here. You might want to leave. Yeah, yeah I don't a know. Lot can, of them. I'm just gonna stay and kill them all. You might want to leave. <laughs> I old dude. So I'm saying. They're on top. Don't fight them. I'm just gonna run bottom once I spawn and maybe we can get dread. They have a lot of people here. Maybe it's Nala. Maybe like pretend like you're doing something, but don't do it. Yep. I'm gonna run bottom, okay? I can get this dread one. I gotta unite on, on this guy right here. Here, I'll mess with them too. Is there five top? Yeah, yeah, there's five. Okay, I'm gonna get this one. Yo! Got him. Oh, you guys are actually killing them. Yeah. Balance. I don't have Unite though, I don't have Buddy Bear. So, let's just get Rotom. Alright, saw you. I saw you, Sam. You got it! <laughs> Jeez. Oh my god. Oh, I can't get out. 
And that's the power of the Body Bear and Score Shield Greedin, or the Japanese Dog Strategy. You just score, use your Body Bear, use your Skill Shield. They have four people hitting a Greedin, and they couldn't stop him from scoring, which is absolutely absurd. So what do y'all think, guys? Leave a comment down below about the Japanese strat. I think it's actually too crazy. You truly understand the goal of this game, which is to score, right? Just get as many points as possible, and you win the game. So it's pretty disgusting, and we're able to display this for you guys, so maybe you can use this in your game and have some fun in Pokemon Unite. Where's, where's my team? <laughs> Serena didn't chase? Oh man. Go score, go score, score there. I'm waiting, yeah. I'm waiting. Okay, actually, yeah, yeah, wait for, wait for Just sit there, dude. Fuck it, just sit there, hold it. Yeah. They don't know yet, <laughs> Yeah, I'm just waiting. This is a great position for solo queue, dude. You can score 100 points, or you can wait. I think I'll they're not here. Zap, I guess. I'll defend top. Oh, they know. The Alright, run! <gasps> oh, the jukes! Get out! <gasps> I'm coming back, isn't it? Yo, yo, yo. Uniting? Oh my god. Wait, just run, just run. Run, 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 run. Just stall. My just body barrier just got destroyed. Right, I'm coming, I'm coming. Dead too. Wait, wait, just Mr. Mime. Win this. Yeah. Oh, nice, dude. Good damage. <laughs> Pikachu is in that push. One HP. They're doing it. Half HP, half HP. Got another one? I don't have skills. I don't have skills, though. It's all you. Oh nice! my god, he's still in with an auto attack. Go, go, go. I'm out. <laughs> Alright, we'll play. Die, you can die now, Mr. Mime, you dog. They didn't have Got a chance him. to get your 50 down? They were defending me. They had two people defending me. So weird. Yeah. Right. Wait, I can still unite in. Farm a little bit more if you can. Alright. Yeah, I think we took a uh, pretty bad fight there, actually. I'm just gonna score you my points. I'm gonna stand out for you. I'm coming in with unite. Yo. Yo! <laughs> I'm out! I'm out! Have fun! Have fun! Have fun! <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> oh, I'm dead though. They have five people chasing me. Go score some more, boys! Get in there! Alright, time for the 40 point score. 20, Let's go! Maybe? 20? <laughs> oh, you can score the 20! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> you got it! We got it! Oh my god! This is how we win, bro! <laughs> Trill versus how we five. Get the win. That was actually really fun. Oh my god, that was good. Three stack versus five stack. Who wins? The Japanese shred wins to prevails. How much did we win by? Nine. A lot of points. How? What the? Hell? Oh, we boy. destroyed them, dude. They can't. You cannot dive a Lucario with E speed. They were trying to dive me, dude. Under tier one, they just got wrecked. Like they cannot. Don't do let them dive you, bro. Just don't. I got let my sh I got my passive shield and I just E speed on them, and they just couldn't do anything. Just get killed. So many targets. That was a funny game. My trio strategy is cancer. Hmm. <laughs> that, was, that was fun. They were chasing me and Dave, but I just unite right past. Just